This video shows how to start in Windows 10 an application by a file extension or file type. So uh, when you have here a picture, a JPEG picture for example, and you want to want to start that, then you have open with and we want to start it here with, with our own app. <coughs> so this why is this not here anymore? So okay, we don't need him. So <coughs> first we start uh, to fill, uh, by a simple app. Uh, we go it uh, the fast way. We are starting uh, Visual Studio like this, and we create a new app, new project. We say this is uh, start by file zero two, and now project is universal app is being created uh, what we have to do is uh, in our app uh, in the app SAML CS uh, co uh, code um, CS file C sharp C sharp file there we have we have to rea react on the point, let's close this, uh, by standard the app uh, starts here on on launched, okay, and it closes on, on sus suspending, but we also have to go, uh, we have to override uh, a reaction, a method, and this method is, um, uh, the where is the other one? <coughs> Yeah, I open the other one. Uh, let, let's take from my photos app. Okay, uh, there we have to open it with here on file activation. That's the code. So this is an override, and we go there with the override. <coughs> you all what you have to do, you have, you go into the. Uh, app.saml.cs file here on the uh, solution explorer and then you include uh, drop in this on file activation this is an override because the the stuff is also uh, already written in the application class uh, <coughs> and what we have to do now is this code says whenever you come there activated by a file then uh, go to the main page here's the main page that's standard default on uh, universal apps and um, yeah and we also give by standard we also give the um, the second stuff here is this I have to <laughs> I have to look it up <laughs> it's not too difficult only two points what we have to do okay what have I done there um, I have to compare that's that's why I do it so okay we have to get on file activation just take this one uh, copy it out of my source uh, from from the link which is on the, the on the YouTube blog and now we are here and just drop it in there and then with this one says okay uh, there's a base file activation and uh, whenever you come there by a file then open the main page and also track the arguments to there and activate that so when you start now with the main page and the main page is at uh, by default like nothing now when you're there that's the SAML code is starting it's a blank page and we get something from uh, from my previous file that's why I'm explaining it machine is running so I have to there are two text blocks and I would say, okay, with what, with which uh, stuff did you 
come up. So I say OK there, there's a file, uh, uh, started with a file and there's a text box, a text block file path, OK? And now when you're, when you're starting with this stuff, the arguments go to the main page and in the main page we have to say, I'm following just this example. Also, copy that block, and I will uh, copy that block, which is given on my stuff, and here, enter it, just drop it in there. So this, what does it do? This is protected override void on navigate to. So whenever the, when the app starts, it gives the file uh, application, file arguments to the app, you see, those are the first arguments, and then the second one is opened. This one, navigate to main page, the main page opens, and then it also tracks the navigation event arcs. So on this stuff, there is written some, 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 activation fail, activ uh, activation file, activation event arcs, blah, 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 arcs as, okay. And then you get the string from there, the first file. And then uh, in this case, in our example, we say, okay, take the string there and show it on this uh, first block. Okay, <coughs> this is how the if it, uh, all that stuff goes in there. Now, uh, how does the system know what's, uh, what we want there? We have to go to the package app uh, X manifest. <coughs> there in declarations, you see available declarations we have here the file type association we add this one there and now we say okay this is my uh, start by uh, file 02 and a logo you can take take a picture from your own stuff there a small uh, image icon or something like this and then you have to give a name uh, and the name has to be in uh, small letters, okay? Not not in uh, must must not be blank, okay? And say it's always when you open this one is safe. So when you go out there, it's uh, it's okay. And now we say okay, we want a JPEG. Uh, it's an image. Uh, the content type content types are given somewhere in the system. You have to look up uh, what it is. So this is image JPEG and the type is dot JPG JPEG. And in further settings you can also go entry point and all stuff. This was uh, the um, main page and all this stuff. I, I'm not sure what uh, how to set up this one. This is more for uh, when you're going deeper to the applications, but at the moment we have the first block. So what we do now, we save that stuff and we compile it, build a solution. Now, <coughs> it will not be uh, seen there now. When we go to a JPEG file in the Explorer and we try to open it, there's not, it's not shown there at the moment, so we first have to go, here it is, project, here, build, deploy the solution, say that the solution should go, uh, should also be on my Windows system, go out there, okay, and uh, you don't have to run it, and now when we go there, it's deployed, when we are there, we say, here it is, start by file 02 when we start this we go to the app uh, .saml.cs and then this one gives the argument to the page which we are open, opening and there it's uh, it reads this that stuff so we have here the file it opened this one and as soon as we are here in our uh, in our 
here it is now we are here in our this app that's the main page and as soon we as we are here we may, may be able to go uh, to write here new method so it's uh, take the public mesh message open show image show image and then the path okay but this is a method which, which we have to write down somewhere here and then it should start so what what we have now we have we, are, we started the app we ran to the page and then we have uh, we are at a point where, where we can go on so this was um, I always have to look up the word it, it's <coughs> this stuff is called file association file type association and the basic in there is you writing the file type association into your uh, app and when the app is deployed or installed on the target computer then the system uh, if then the extension is also is regist registered in the windows system and the windows system knows jpeg is available there you're also able to here uh, add new stuff it's not only jpeg you also may take png and all the stuff uh, or text file and as soon as you are there you may uh, see this stuff so this was a small tutorial and if you liked it give me a thumb and uh, maybe you are able to subscribe it okay